Hey everyone, my name is Olga and I'm happy to see you here in this new video. And today I'm going to show you all my red lipstick and lip glosses that I have. And we are going to discuss all of them. So let's start. And we are going to start from more affordable makeup brands. And our first brand for today is Catrice. I'm going to show you two products. The first one is from a line which is called Hurt Affair. It's a limited edition shade 3. This particular lipstick is quite nice. It's nice to wear it. It's more a balm formula. It's not super pigmented. I would say pigmentation is around average. It's easy to apply it and uh, it feels beautifully on the lips. It's not super long lasting for sure as it's more a balm and if we talk about some limited editions from um, Catrice, in most of the cases uh, lipsticks are quite familiar to their general line so you can try to find something familiar. This shade is not a real red, I would say it's a mix of pink and red and uh, it's more on pink side just simply because of the texture and the pigmentation. But still, it was a nice lipstick and if you have it and if you want to have it, I think that probably you still may find it somewhere. Nice product still <laughs> for wearing, from wearing point of view and not all. I like this. <laughs> I like this girl and uh, it's called Shine Bomb shade, shade 40 about last night. I'm very impressed by this formula. From one side it's shiny, from the other side it's a long-lasting formula. You can wear it during the day and it behaves nicely while wearing it. The shade itself is more a classic red. It's not super... it doesn't have a lot of blue but at the same time it doesn't have a lot of orange. And as the shade contains a little bit of blue, it would give you a slightly whitening effect for your teeth and it would look perfectly almost on everyone. But be aware that this lipstick has a scent and I'm afraid that not everyone would like it, so if you're sensitive, please try it before buying it. It's a mix of something sour and something sweet, so definitely not for everyone but the formula itself is amazing now we are moving to la vera it's a german brand and i have shade 34 it's called timeless red i wish i could tell you it's a nice lipstick but actually i don't really like it I have some others which are better. The shade itself is quite nice. It's a classical red. It's a combo of a red which has a little bit of blue again and a little bit of orange, but not a lot of orange. If a red lipstick contains a lot of orange, it wouldn't work for everyone. But in this particular case, the shade itself is quite nice but I don't like uh, pigmentation level. This formula is not super pigmented. I would say pigmentation is between low and average. For sure you can try to layer this product and it would work, but at the same time if you want to just apply the lipstick itself, it wouldn't work for everyone. You have to use it with a combo with, uh, sorry, <laughs> with any uh, lip liners, with red lip liners. And in this case, it would work. Moreover, the texture for me is slightly thick, I would say. And um, I don't feel, well, it don't feel that super nicely on lips. So, from one side it's okay, from the other side I wish they did it slightly differently and they updated the texture. And as well, it has a scent, but for me, personally, I don't really like it. It reminds me slightly of manufacture smell. I don't know how to explain it differently, but something like this. And I wish they added at least a little bit of scent so it would smell slightly differently. But for me personally, I'm gonna say no to this product and um, I'm gonna sell it or I'm gonna throw it away after this video. Moving on and now it's time for a revolution makeup in shade Ruby. I'm impressed. 
by this lipstick. I didn't expect that <laughs> I would like it, but I do like it, really. It's a nice formula. Pigmentation is um, higher than average. I would say it's quite high. Easy to apply, easy to blend. Uh, the texture is quite smooth, creamy, and... Um, it's comfortable to wear this product. Moreover, the shade itself is beautiful. It's not a super classical red. It contains a little bit more blue, but due to this, your teeth would appear extremely white. And if you wanna find a nice red lipstick, which doesn't cost a lot, please try. I'm going to show you one more beautiful lipstick from Kika Milana, but this guy is definitely cheaper. Well, at some point it looks like a dupe to Charlotte Tilbury, but it's not a real dupe, but still, it's a nice lipstick. It stains slightly, so it's quite long-lasting for a cream formula. It's easy to layer it, it's easy to apply it, and you can use this formula, this product, without any lipstick but still i suggest using a lip liner all the time because in this particular case it would work perfectly beautiful product it has a no it doesn't have a scent so if you're sensitive it's a good product for you beautiful beautiful i'm very impressed because i didn't expect that i would like this lipstick really and now it's time for our first lip gloss from nyx a shade 13 and it's called hollow flame dark plum line oh yes <laughs> yes 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 this product contains chili paper so definitely not everyone would like it i'm pretty sure if you don't like menthol please don't try to buy any lip glosses which contain uh, chili paper because it it's gonna be worse <laughs> really it works perfectly, it looks beautifully on lips. It's a highly pigmented lip gloss. It's really, pigmentation is extremely high. It looks beautiful on lips, it's not sticky, it's easy to apply it, but at the same time, be aware that this shade is a red one for sure. And uh, you have to be um, really careful in order while applying it, sorry, <laughs> because uh, it's extremely pigmented. The shade itself contains a little bit of blue and it would work again as a something whitening for your teeth. Beautiful shade, a beautiful product, but definitely not for everyone because um, your lips are gonna die. <laughs> First of all, they are gonna burn and then they are gonna die. But still, if you like something like this, please try. Oops, sorry, my camera had decided that it's the best time to have a break and simply turned off sorry moving on to the next product we are finished with our beauty from nyx nice lip gloss but not for everyone for sure and we are moving pro to something from korea brand called moon no shot and i have shade six which is called ben and uh, this product is quite nice. It's the um, mousse formula it's easy to apply it it stains slightly so it's going to be quite long lasting at the same time it's not uh, super dry for the lips and uh, it looks quite beautifully but i can't really say that it's a real red and in overall if we talk about uh, korean products they are kind of red but not super red it looks beautiful and uh, if you blend it it would appear more as a pink plus red shade is quite nice and the texture is quite nice as well and if you've never tried any korean lip product try they do have quite many in super nice formulas and they're extremely beautiful for instance and there is a brand which is called roman d and it's a nice one they do have nice lip glosses and uh, lip tints and they work perfectly and um, i've tried a tint from this brand and uh, it wasn't drying at all so i didn't feel any dryness in 20 30 minutes as i personally usually feel when i apply a lip tint especially a water one and now it's time for kika milano for sure 
I have two products from limited editions and one from the main light. And actually, we are going to start from a limited edition and it was holiday premiere. Shade 4. From one side, we have a lip gloss. It's a beautiful lip gloss. It feels extremely nicely on lips uh, and it's not sticky at all. And at the same time, I would say that pigmentation is quite high for lip gloss. And on the other side, we have a lipstick, a red one, a beautiful red lipstick. And it feels extremely comfortable on the lips. It's a matte version and it looks extremely beautiful on lips. You can definitely layer this shade. And I can't really say that uh, the pigmentation here is high. I would say it's around average, but you can definitely layer this product. It feels nicely on lips and uh, it has a scent and it smells nicely. Same thing for the lip gloss. And I've started from this particular lipstick because in their general line, they have uh, a lipstick which is called Ultimate Styler Shade 17. And it's an exactly the same formula. So if you skipped uh, this uh, holiday premiere line, you can definitely try this beauty from the main line. The shade is exactly the same, so no problems. And if we talk about the shade, it's a classical red, which has a little bit more blue. So it's gonna be extremely widening for your teeth and it would be good for everyone. I'm very impressed by this particular formula and the shade because the lips look beautiful and it reminds me something more high-end. Beautiful, beautiful. And if you've never tried, please try. It's definitely worth it. And one more lipstick from Kika Milana, Collection Blue Me. And it's a matte liquid um, lipstick in shade 7. If you've never tried any liquid lipsticks from Kika Milana, it's a good choice because pigmentation is extremely high. It's easy to apply them. It's easy to wear them. No dryness while wearing them. And um, it looks beautiful while wearing. And the product itself is quite long lasting. By the way, if we talk about a cream formula, it's quite long lasting as well because it stains slightly, but still it stains. Beautiful, beautiful. The shade is perfect. It's not really a classical red. It contains, again, a bit more blue. And I would say it contains more blue than this shade 17, which I've just um, shown you. Yes, it's a good choice in case you want to have your extremely white teeth. So, looks beautiful, looks perfectly, and uh, yes, 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 definitely yes. And I haven't noticed any problems while wearing this lipstick. So, yes, it's beautiful. Now it's time for Yves Rocher, and uh, I have three lipsticks from this particular brand. Two are from the main line and I have shade 56 and 57. Now you're gonna see the swatches and uh, actually I don't see any difference and uh, they look more or less the same. The only difference is, is that 57 contains a little bit more orange but it's not that super visible. Talking about this formula itself, it's nice, but it's more like a balm, so it's not super pigmented. It's slightly shiny, and uh, this version is called satin, actually, <laughs> so quite expected. Easy to apply it, easy to wear it, and uh, no dryness while wearing it, but it doesn't stain at all, so it's not a long-lasting formula. You have to reapply it, and quite often, I would say. I wish they had a little bit more pigment, and I wish they didn't have this scent, because it seems for me more like a perfume. And if you are sensitive, most likely it wouldn't work for you. I also have a lipstick in shade 12 from a limited edition, but I would say it's more or less the same thing, but for some reason they have a little bit more pigment here. And if we talk about the shade itself, I would say this one is more a classical red. 
but these two are slightly orange and in overall if we talk about red lipsticks which contain uh, a lot of orange they don't work for everyone they may work in case of warm undertone and in case if you don't care about your teeth color because as more orange you have the more i would say yellow would appear your teeth and if you wanna do a trick and if you want to have a whitening effect you should choose a lipstick a red lipstick which contains uh, more blue that's a trick for you so i'm not quite sure about this formula and i'm not quite sure about these lipsticks i'm not a big fan of them they may work they are quite nourishing but they are not for everyone now we are going to Sephora. Sephora Glossed Vinyl Shade 6. It's a classical red. It's a beautiful red uh, lip gloss. And it looks extremely beautiful on lips. But at the same time, it's not a super long-lasting formula. And um, this product may appear slightly sticky on the lips. And at some point, it may melt from your lips. So you have to be really really careful and never apply a lot of product like this think about uh, this product as about a lip gloss and in this case please don't apply a lot but it's a very very pigmented product and the shade itself is quite nice and would work for everyone and now it's time for more high-end products and we are gonna start from bare minerals why not shade courage I like the formula. It feels extremely beautiful on the lips. It's quite nourishing. It's a satin version and uh, looks extremely beautiful on lips. It slightly stains, so I can say that this formula is not long lasting at all. But at the same time, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful. The shade itself um, is a classical red, so it doesn't has a lot of blue but at the same time it doesn't have a lot of orange so the shade itself quite nice but 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 pigmentation is average you have to layer this product or you have to do a combo with a lip liner and in this case it would work the texture itself is quite nice now it's time for mac and i have two significant shades <laughs> the first one is gonna be ruby Wu and the second one russian red if we talk about ruby Wu, uh, it's a retro matte lipstick so it's another line a uh, russian red is just simply a matte lipstick the formulas are slightly different if you need something more creamy not that super dry please choose um, russian red if you need something more let's say pigmented and if you want to have something more dry choose ruby woo the shades are quite familiar they are classical red they contain a lot of blue and they almost don't have any orange pigment so it's a good choice if you want to have extremely white teeth but at the same time um, they are quite familiar and but at the same time sorry they are slightly different so if you want to have a more pigmented uh, product and which has a little bit more blue, choose Ruby Wu. If you prefer a little bit less, then your choice is Russian Red. Personally, I do prefer Russian Red simply because of the texture, because it's more comfortable to wear. It. But at the same time, Ruby Wu is also quite nice. Our next beauty from Bobbi Brown, Luxe Lip Color, shade 28. And uh, again, it's a classical red, which doesn't have a lot of orange and doesn't have a lot of blue. Beautiful shade, beautiful lipstick, Nice. it's nice to wear it, it's uh, quite nourishing, and it reminds me a lip balm slightly. Pigmentation, I would say, average, and uh, at some point you can try to layer this product, but I suggest just simply to take a lip liner and uh, apply a lip liner before. It's extremely, extremely easy to apply it. And um, this product doesn't emphasize uh, any texture. While, for instance, our lovely Ruby Woo 
may emphasize skin texture because uh, the texture is slightly dry. This texture is quite, it's slightly better, I would say. Quite nourishing on the lips. It's a shiny formula. It's nice to wear. It, it doesn't have any scent. So if you're allergic, if you're sensitive, it's a good choice. Beautiful shade, beautiful product. Love it. And it stains slightly. Not a lot, but still it stains. So the next product is going to be from NARS. And a beautiful shade, <laughs> extremely beautiful shade. It contains a lot of blue. So if you want to have extremely white teeth, choose it. It's a lipstick, it's a liquid lipstick from NARS, shade Star Woman. Beautiful product, extremely highly pigmented. Pigmentation is, is going to, <laughs> to the space. Really, it's easy to apply it, it's easy to layer it. The texture itself is quite thin. It's a long-lasting formula. It's extremely long-lasting formula. It doesn't transfer during a day and... Uh, well, at some point in uh, six hours, it may appear slightly dry for your lips, but it's slightly expected at the same time because the formula is long lasting. The shade is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful red. Impressed, extremely impressed. And uh, I have this beauty. Just a sec. It has two milliliters. And if I'm not mistaken, I have it ready for two years. It's going to be with you forever. And um, it has a scent. It's a nice one. It reminds me a bit of caramel, I would say. So it's slightly sweetie. And if you are sensitive, well, it depends. Maybe it would work for you, maybe not. Please try before buying it. Beautiful shade, beautiful product. Impressed. Only two products are left. The first one from Hourglass, the second one from Pat McGrath. And we are going to start from Hourglass. Shade at night. It's a beautiful lipstick. I love, I'm in love. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this formula because it's extremely long lasting for a cream product. It's easy to apply it. It's easy to layer it. It's it's so cool to wear it. It stains and um, well, it, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, it's extremely long lasting. Same thing for Pat McGrath, for instance. And yes, they are both creamy, so they feel extremely comfortable on the lips. It's not a classical red. I would say it's more. Um, a dark red and it contains a bit of orange so it wouldn't the shade itself wouldn't work for everyone but if you never tried this formula it's a beautiful one it's extremely beautiful it's extremely extremely pigmented just just simply take a look you just draw a line and you don't really have to layer it same thing for pet magrat I have shade uh, Elsa and uh, I'm so impressed. Just draw a line and you have everything. No need to layer at all. The texture is extremely, extremely creamy. And uh, if we compare these textures, I would say Pet Magrat is more thin and um, our glass is thicker at some point. Easy to apply, easy to layer, it looks so beautiful on lips. It's a matte version, but at the same time, it contains a little bit of satin, I would say. And due to this, your lips look amazing. The shade itself is not a classical red. It has a little bit more blue uh, inside. And uh, again, if you need extremely white teeth, choose this color, choose this product and uh, the texture. Oh gosh, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. If you ask me about my top five formulas, first place, Pat McGrath. Well, her glass as well, quite nice, but I would say top one is Pat McGrath. Later on, on the second place, I'm gonna have Hourglass. And on the third place, I'm gonna have 
NARS. My top four is going to be Kika Milano because this product looks really amazing on lip and if you layer it and if you apply it with a lip liner, it would appear more or less the same as Pat McGrath. It slightly reminds me Pat, at least um, the final result reminds me. And at the same time, Top four, Bobbi Brown. Just in case you prefer something more nourishing and not super pigmented, try a product from Bobbi Brown. Top five, for sure, it's gonna be MAC Cosmetics. And for sure, it's gonna be Russian Red, in my personal opinion, just simply because I prefer this texture instead of uh, Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo, in my personal opinion, is slightly dry for me at least. And it was our last discussion for today. Please let me know down below your favorite red lipsticks and lip glosses. And if you like this video, please don't forget to put a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I'm wishing you a pleasant end of day and see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye!